Today, I will be using this enterprise server to play PC games. I will be doing this to test how well server hardware can handle gaming. In the first half of the video, I will be showing how I set it up to do this. In the latter half, I will show the results and gameplay. So stay tuned and join me as I attempt to repurpose this powerful machine. First off, you might be wondering, why would you use an enterprise server to game? And the simple answer is that you wouldn't, unless you are clinically insane. Therefore, I decided to try it. For this experiment, I will be using a Dell R630, which sports an Intel Xeon 8-core 16-thread CPU along with 128GB of RAM. It sounds pretty beefy, but the Xeon chips aren't exactly meant to handle games. This is because they have a slower per-core clock speed than their desktop counterparts. In a nutshell, server compute hardware is better suited to handle multiple tasks and expansions, such as the ability to handle multiple virtual servers or support more PCIe lanes within the motherboard. However, most gaming and emulation relies heavily on fast single-core performance, which means these processes might not run as smoothly. But I wasn't going to let that stop me, baby. After all, this is Dennis's laboratory, not Dennis's only if it makes sense to do it channel. And you guys get a front row seat to the insanity. Anyways, as for what accessories I'll be using, I was debating on not using this but ultimately decided to use the RTX 3050 from my last video to really push the performance on this bad boy. I will also be using Windows 10 as the operating system, the last good consumer Microsoft operating system. Unfortunately, the case will not close with the RTX 3050 inside of it, so I decided to leave it off because in this house we only care about performance. From here I download all the launchers and emulators I need to test, and now we're ready for the part we've all been waiting for. Time to test the games! First I decided to test the greatest game of this century, Elden Ring, running at medium to high quality settings and 1080p resolution. I could definitely play this game from beginning to end with these settings. Now let's try Cyberpunk 2077, again running at medium to high quality settings with the Nvidia DLSS setting turned on. It stayed at 60 plus FPS pretty much the whole time. The 3050 is really pulling its weight here. Next, let's try some online Modern Warfare 2.
as you can see, even MLG players should get down and dirty using this build. As a bonus, I decided to test PS3 emulation. Here's the footage of that starting with Red Dead Redemption. Honestly, not bad. Obviously worse than the performance of my last video, but with the slower clock speed of the CPU, I'm not surprised. Next, let's try Demon's Souls. This pretty much ran flawlessly, but that may be because Miyazaki is goaded with the sauce when it comes to game design and optimization. And yes, I will always glaze this man anytime I can. <laughs> Anyways, lastly, I decided to try out Minecraft PS3 Edition. As you can see, I really pushed the hardware to its limits here, but it was able to handle the emulation with ease. Overall, transforming this enterprise server into a gaming machine led to a pretty good gaming experience. It essentially functioned like a normal PC build, just with a quote-unquote slower processor. Now, like I said before, I wouldn't recommend doing this to actually game, especially when you consider the noise factor. Also, it is obviously better to just get something like a Dell Optiplex and attach a low-profile GPU, you know, the kind that doesn't need extra PCIe connectors if you want to build a budget computer. But all that being said, it was definitely a fun experiment to try. Thanks for joining me, and let me know what you were expecting with this gaming server build. Or if you have any requests or suggestions for video ideas regarding repurposing old tech, let me know as well. 
Also, don't forget to subscribe to stay tuned for more out-of-the-box tech experiments. I will see you all in the next one.